<laughs> so I one thing other thing I did want to sort of talk about is unrelated yep. to the um the the work you do. I sort of want to ask you about like what is what is the the FOSS community like in in India? Because I in Australia there's basically nothing here. Like we have a couple oh, of wow. little conferences. There's like one in Sydney. There's one in Melbourne, and. <laughs> Like most of the major things that happen in the FOSS space are in, you know, they're in Europe, they're in America. So what's it like for you? And I know you've gotten yourself, you've gone to a lot of talks in various places. So I just wanted to know what it was like for you. Yeah, I mean, in India, um, afforded by the large population here. Mm -hmm. And by the way, according to Stat Counter, I was personally surprised by this, by the way, but according to Stat Counter, um, fifteen percent of internet users in India use Linux. Wow! So um, I was surprised by this because I ha- I am yet to meet a single person that I just know outside FOSS communities to use Linux. So I highly doubt that I I better see them in Europe in this mm-hmm. regard. But yeah, I mean because everyone here uses you know if you talk about phones first off everyone uses an iPhone in urban communities. Or, you know, if you go to the rural parts of India, everyone uses an Android. Mm-hmm. But then when it comes, to, and even when it comes to computers, I mean, here's one thing about India, you know, no matter how rich one is, you know, everyone loves to pirate Windows for some reason here. Mm-hmm. Even if you can't afford it, everyone just pirates Windows. Um, because first off, people stop buying peoples long, long ago in India. Mm-hmm. People stop buying peoples, and so people just go to the local computer shop for this purpose. Yeah, and they ask they ask us to they ask us to to um, build computers for them, no matter how big and you know, you know no matter how big their margins may be, you know, because you can find you can find a you can find just um, you can find a shop down the street that that just sells computers, um, that just builds computers and sells them for you that have what that have a five hundred dollar margin. You can find stuff like that in India, and people don't even realize because they know absolutely nothing about about te- about PC parts and. Yeah, they just buy this because they do not want to spend on pre bills for some reason, you mm-hmm. know, whatever logic, whatever, whatever, you know, however this makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, afforded by the large population, though, we do have large force communities here because here's the thing pretty much everyone, you know, everyone that is an engineer, for example, you know, um, here in universities, um, people exclusively use Ubuntu and there are gangs, in fact, that will force you to switch over to Arch or distributions like that at universities so you'll find tons of gangs that are gonna beat you up if you don't switch over to <laughs> I don't know if you're being serious right now. I'm not I'm not but yeah I mean you there's just a bit of a there's just a bit of a, yeah there's just there's just a feeling because I've talked to a bunch of people at universities and stuff and mm-hmm. you know most people I know they just use Arch. Mm-hmm. Arch or Ubuntu or Kali. Because Kali has managed to find its way to the masses in India because everyone wants to become a Everyone wants to become a quote unquote hacker. Right, yeah. right. You'll find a bunch of nine year olds that make YouTube videos on how to install Kali Linux on Hindi. In Hindi, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just absolutely shit. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> but yeah, the force community. Yeah. We have a bunch of corporates here in India that actually do support the FOSS community because most of the most of the CXO suites, you know, most of the CXO suites of those companies, mm-hmm. those are hardcore Linux users, mm-hmm. and they endorse the use of Linux and they organize massive conferences in India. So, like I gave a talk at one last year that was um, that was uh, organized by yeah that was organized by a huge company here in India, I think. Uh, mm-hmm. Um, the name is Zedota, and they had a conference named the Force, India Force, I think, yeah, it was named India Force, mm-hmm. and they had over, what, over 1,700 attendees. Wow. And this was not even in the capital, this was in Bangalore, which is where I live right now. We moved here recently, and, yeah, I mean, although this is, this is basically the, this is, you yeah, know, people call it the Silicon Valley of India, um, it has, it's that city, you know, um, it's just an industrial city, um, you know, that has as everyone that is interested in this kind of stuff because most um, tech company, companies just come here and settle here. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, that's what we have here, really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's it's. I mean, we have a large force community here, though, because um, yeah, there there are huge communities in basically every city in India, 
and you know there are tons of local universities and they too help with the they too help with all of this you know they help to promote they help to promote Linux and occasionally occasionally you will have the chance to come and come by universities in India and tell you why Linux should be called Gadoo slash Linux so you know <laughs> that's that as well <laughs> it's always that fun to out. ask what like other places are like because like, Australia is a massive country, but there's no one. There is no one here. There is the. That is. There's 25 so, million people here. There is less people than the just California. California has almost double the population of my entire country, and then India is the whole opposite end of the spectrum. Where what is the number? It's like one point. 1.4 billion oh. as a 2021. Yeah, 1.4 billion. Yeah, I uh, know. I mean, I think it's uh, I think it's about 1.5 billion now. Yeah, mm. yeah, 1.5 billion. I don't know what we're gonna do with this kind of population, but yeah, whatever. Um, we have 1.5 billion people here, and uh, that's just a full. So I mean, if you consider 15 percent of the internet using population, which is by the way like 80 percent. I want to check this by the way. Mm-hmm. What is how many people in India use the internet? Because from, from what I remember, it had one of the largest populations, largest internet using populations ahead of China, in fact. Internet using population in India. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 759 million users from money control. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't know how the feasible that is, but wow. Okay. Yeah, the World Bank has something on that too. Uh, Let me just check this out. Yeah, over 50% of the population. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this was last year, and this is just increasing exponentially. So, um, yeah, this is just. Um, so you know, when you consider that, and then you take fifteen percent of that, you know, let's not take fifteen percent at face value because that count is not known to be the most. Yeah, reliable. yeah, that count is not. Let's not take that. A bit one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we remember that, but you know, even if we, even if we want third that, you know, if we, even if we third that too. The five percent that is a huge number mm-hmm. from a big country like India, you know. It is it has a large population and even five into five. And I guess considering the fact that a lot of people are getting onto the internet for the first time, and you know, there is this big wealth disparity in the in India. So you're gonna have the people on the lower end of this likely going for the free like in this case the free solution. Yeah, I mean, unless you know um, they his... just acquire Windows through other means, which is also very common in a lot of places as well. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell you. Um, yeah, I know quite a few people. I know quite a few people just that just use KMS for Windows. You know, mm-hmm. so, you know KMS activation. Uh, okay, I should probably not. You know. Yeah. Um. So that's, that's just prevalent. That's just prevalent. And then I mean, policy is just an issue in India. You know. Because everyone I know can afford it. Everyone I know can afford it because, you know, they are, most people I know, they'll probably be, you know, if you can't, they'll just be your average people, you know, in any developed country. They'll just mm. count as your average person in the developed country, most, most of the people I know, you know. And, you know, you'll just find, you'll just find them uh, using, what should I say again? Um, tea launcher. Tea um, that kind of, yeah, this is something you might want to look up. It is just, um, so it, is, it was, it is a Russian launcher of Minecraft that is cracked, that is known to modify your logistics modify your and stuff. So some guy in Russia developed T-Launcher and then sold it to a company or did the company, yeah, I think the company just took over it mm-hmm. um, for some reason, illegal takeover or something. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they just added that there to it and they started modifying people's logistics and selling home stuff. And, you know, <laughs> what's that happening? And people, and, you know, there's no single person I know I'm the only person I know that uses Minecraft, you know, mm-hmm. that that uses the actual Minecraft launcher for that purpose. Mm-hmm. And in general, that doesn't pirate, pirate this kind of stuff. Every single person I know, every single person I know just pirates stuff like this in mm-hmm. India. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just hard to find people that actually buy the original versions of stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that, that there's a food for for Linux adoption here, um, but people are just way too engrossed in uh, piloting stuff and you're know, looking for alternatives. Mm-hmm. I think the real introduction of people to Linux in India would be um, universities because mm-hmm. there people are lobbied into using <laughs> into using Linux distributions. Right. There, you know, you want to be a part of the elite club, mm-hmm. you know, at Indian universities that use Linux. So, mm-hmm. 
that's that's how it is in India, and I think that is what led to the um, Linux boom here. Yeah. Mm.